Now these some big alligator. Now these are crocodiles. Sure don't want to slip into that. How long is that one? Do you think about? Twelve feet. Nine alligator style. Lazy day in the zoo. And these big cats are sure interested in those little kids whenever they go by. Sleeping tiger. These are cute. I don't pull off a good owl, so it turns its head. You can do a turkey for them. Nope, that didn't work either. No turkey. Maybe a cow. Oh wait, this might attract him. It did. You woke him up.
Was that a thought? It was the sound of the Jacob sparking. There's a little baby. Oh, is that? Oh, I see him. Oh yeah. Nice. I know. Do visitors let me come over and then poop in your direction. Hey guys, behave. Look at those talons. Look. Chew it. Soon it was here, or as soon as it was there, it's gone.
here. Okay, I just had to pull out the video camera so I could show how steep these stairs are around here. Here comes Kathy. <clears throat> She can pretty much touch the floor as she's coming up. Amazing. You did a great job, Kathy. This, by the way, <clears throat> is our place that we're staying in for three days. Which is amazing. Kathy will show the bedroom. Man, I feel like I'm on MTV Cribs. I could be with this place. So here we have our bedroom for this evening and the next three days. As you can see, it's wonderfully furnished. We have this beautiful window out onto the street. You can see our wonderful bathroom. I'm very jealous we don't have this at home, actually. Look at this tub. You could swim for hours in this thing. It's actually quite large. Now, normally this place goes for how much per night? Um, I think three hundred dollars. Or a euro. Three hundred euro. But we're getting it for ninety. Which is amazing. So Kathy's gonna venture down the steep stairs again. Okay. Follow her along. I mean, these are like. Very steep. Couldn't think of anything cooler to say. So we have this whole place to ourselves. I mean, like, check this out. We have a foyer. We have our own laptop to use at our discretion. That's right. Check out this tiled floor. I would die for this tiled floor. We've got another bathroom that I didn't know about. It's kind of schmitty right now, but look, we could have saved all of our stuff to do. Damn it. You're right. We can just for fun. Another shower, beautiful sink, medicine cabinet. This is the kitchen. This is a beautiful kitchen. Look at this. This is just wonderful. Every appliance, microwave, freezer. Boy, did we get screwed, huh? You won't see these in the States. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those. A little PC, but oh. Those can go away. Oh. Probably shouldn't go rooting through every room. Did I say that this was just 90 euro a night? Look at this, you could just sleep on here forever. And another TV. And then frosted glass for our privacy. Privacy. I really have no need to since the bathroom is upstairs, but I might just run down here naked just so I can be in front of that frosted glass. <laughs> this is so gorgeous. I mean, just the 
things they've decorated with are just so beautiful. Like this egg, for instance. Candles. Ooh, there's even a stereo. And an apothecary table, which I really want one of these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> a beautiful orchid. Mm. Next rock. So, they do say that when in Rome, right? <laughs> right? Yes. So, we are in Amsterdam, correct? Mm hmm Okay. So, we better go upstairs really quick and roll a J. Because when in Rome... Gotta do what they want. Hey, they were just doing it on the street when we went out and had dinner. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to uh, cut down their electricity bill by... Turning off, turning off some lights. Light. Ooh, and this place even has a backyard where they're putting in like a deck or something. So, that's really cool. Let me shut off all the lights. As long as we can find our way upstairs. We'll leave this little lamp on. Okay. That one. Yeah, a little bit should stay on. That one. I'll leave the little lamp in there too. Did you lock the door? Okay. Just uh wrap it on the stairs here because they're that steep. Yes, they are. I right, have my hands on the floor. I feel like I'm climbing a ladder every time I go come up here. They could have replaced this carpet, but no. I won't. Hold it them. I'm going to demand 85 euro. I've had to lower my standards. And here we are again. <coughs> Ooh, so, we can even get a, a fan this time around. Let's leave that open. Okay. Um, let's close that. Yeah. I just wanted our privacy. Yes. Yeah. So that is our wonderful place, and boy was it worth every cent. Every single cent. Meditate. Meditate on that, son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, what's the date today? I don't know. <laughs> what day it's Friday. Is, yeah, okay, it's Friday, and this is our first night in the place that we just took to you on the tour of. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are in Rome. So, uh, what did we, we forgot to do a journal entry the night Last before. Last night, Thursday night. Yeah. There will be a missing day. Out of this whole trip, only one day was missed thus far. Yes. Um, so what did we do today? Oh, um, we had to do a yeah. room switch. <laughs> Um, meaning going across town and staying in another place until Monday. Um, we've been staying at the Garden View B&B for the last couple of nights, as you know. So tonight we... Yes. I think you said, oh. No. Oh, weird. Um, <laughs> so today we had to do a room switch because... Um, we didn't get our reservations in time, so we can have the whole time, but we've got um, tonight, tomorrow night, and Sunday night here, which is, um, well, it's, it's usually a residence, I guess, that people rent, but um, tonight, or for the past, or for the next couple of days, we'll have this um, wonderful, so far, so beautiful good. house. Yeah. yeah, amazing amazing house. Um, anyway, so we did a room switch, which means that we came over here to another bed and breakfast. And then after that, we... Went to the zoo? Went to the zoo. No, we did something before that, though. Did we just, like... We got food. We got food, that's it. At the Indian uh, food restaurant. Yeah, and I had shrimps with heads on them. It was very... Huge. I mean, huge. 
About this, like small lobster sized huge. shrimps. Oxymoron. Jumbo shrimp. Mm -hmm. But they were huge. But they didn't call them jumbo shrimp, they called them big shrimp. Big shrimp. And big they were. It wasn't a lie, it wasn't a conundrum. <sighs> and I thought I would go completely outside of my comfort zone because, you know, after all, I'm on the other side of the planet, so I should be adventurous. So I got chicken. <laughs> for for lunch and for dinner. That's right, and I didn't even realize that until she just said that. Jeez. But both of them, the sauces and the spices, were wonderful. So. So after we ate, we went to the zoo, which was really, really cool. Got some footage of that. Um, that was nice just to walk around and the uh, breeze has actually picked up so it wasn't as hot as it had been the entire trip. And then after that we went back to our place and then went to dinner at um, just a, I guess, sort of the Amsterdam's version of a pub. So we went and Really had, nice people. Yeah, really nice people. Um, got to sit outside and kind of like view life as it was happening. Had a couple of uh, Heineken's, so. And then we came back and had a little view of the house, and now we're going to relax. So we'll bid you adieu. A bear. A boo. I think we can only see our We will bid you a bear. A do. Wait. What are we going to do tomorrow? Um, ooh, we're going to go to a market. Hopefully get something for special people. No. <laughs> Not those kind of special people. Oh. Not special people. People that have done us immense favors and all that good stuff. So we want to reward them with a little Amsterdam giftage. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Not and, that kind of giftage. And what else are we going to do? Oh, we're going to go see the Guggenheim, not the Guggenheim, the Van Gogh Museum and um, the Rembrandt, only if it's open. Because um, I swear I read that they were having um, renovations done until 2007. Well, but I'm not sure if it's that one or someone else. We'll find this out and we of course will let you know. But that's our plan tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Turn off the camera. How do you like your beer? Got done with the Heineken Brewery. Now it's hot dog time. Got the beer munchies. And we're gonna get a couple of dogs. Uh, and uh, then we're gonna go back to our place. Drop all that stuff off. Oh, there goes the tram. It's a good day so far. Schlagen sie schlagen. Schlagen die Dagen. Okay, this is how crazy it is right now on one of many of the canals. Massive amounts of people are out on their boats. And a lot of them are tourists and they don't know how to steer these things. See, like, Look at that! Look at that! He's crashing into the houseboat. <laughs> yeah, these houseboats on the side, people live in. Look at this. Let's see if I can see that. It's craziness. Look at it. Look, people are going backwards now. That's funny. <laughs> oh, 
Some local doesn't buy him in a black boat. Let off. Look at this. Oh yeah. I mean it's like bunker boats out there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go rent a couple of these paddle boats. <laughs> Not. All right. Today is Saturday. What's the date today? Do you know the number? Uh, let's see. Twenty-third, maybe. We're gonna get home like on the twentieth. Twentieth. It's Saturday. <laughs> That's fine. That's all you need to know. Um, great day. What did we do today? We went over to our house um, side of the apartment and we had um, breakfast with all his other guests, which included two, not included, but were um, two other couples and they were about our age, it looked like, which is kind of cool. One couple was from Ireland who just decided to take a cheap flight down to Amsterdam for a long weekend. And the other couple were from Canada who had been um, out of the country for a couple of years traveling all over the world. They said they mainly uh, traveled in Southeast Asia. So that was cool to meet other people. Yep. And after that we searched and searched for um, a market and we went there and it was kind of cool, we got a couple of things to take home. Um, and then after that we went and took the um, Heineken Experience tour over at the Heineken Brewery. That was pretty, that was pretty cool. I mean, I didn't, like Kathy and I were talking about, we didn't really learn anything about the, the way bottling or the beer is made. I mean, although that we could probably read through all the little stuff they had, but it was more of like a experience music project type tour where there's a lot of lights and sound and you go on a, uh, what's it like a sense ride, you know how like on Back to the Future you sit in the car and it doo -doo 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 jiggles and stuff, well we did a ride that was, um, you were the bottle. That was pretty interesting. Yeah, it was kind of funny. So and then we went and got a couple of beers. Yes. And then we went and looked at a couple more things inside the museum. Um, yes. It felt like it was just one big advertisement to drink their beer, but that's what they want. That's all right. There were a couple of pit stops made in there, and I had quite a bit of Heineken. And actually, Kathy has had quite a bit as well, and she's not normally a beer drinker, so that was kind of cool. What did we do after that? Oh, um, we came home, and then, no, did we go somewhere? Yeah, we came 
came home just to like, just to uh, stop and regroup. And then we went to a coffee shop, and then we went to a bakery, and then we just sort of walked around for a little while, and then came back here, took a nap, and then after that I went out to dinner at the same place we went last night, which was kind of nice, and here we are. Yay! Yep. And we should be going to the hag. Or the hag. <laughs> <laughs> the old hag. Let's go to the hag. Yeah. So, hopefully we'll do that tomorrow. See you later. Bye. Here we are, Kathy. <laughs> Where are we? So we're in the North Sea. <laughs> we're, we're in the shores. We're the... Yeah, that's it. Vandersloot. No, that's the... Dude, that was... Let me see. I'm trying to figure out where we are. It's so warm, Kathy had to wrap up in a towel. Exactly. The first time I didn't bring... Zandvoort. And Z. <laughs> in the North... At the North Sea. Apparently it's not Vandersloot. Somebody way over there. to get out to the beach before it got really cold. Yes, we didn't get here in time. Yeah, look at it. Hopefully there's not so much in the mics. I'll cover it up a little bit. This is the beach. Is that helping? The towel? Not at all. No, just a little bit. And the one day that we should have worn pants. We're still in shorts. Ooh, now I'm watching a dog take a crap in the sand. Oh, my miss. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put this away before it freezes. I need to take a picture. <laughs> yeah. And then we can leave. <laughs> Yo. Yo. It's uh, 9 o'clock and we're wiped out. Um, what did we do today? Um, Got up, had a good breakfast. We were very wiped out from the night before. Too much magic bus! And so we walked down and we decided to go to the, uh, the beach. So we jumped on the train and went to the beach. And it was cold. Screw the beach! So we hung out for a while, had some coffee and some tea and... Looked at it from inside, because it's freezing outside. And then we left. <laughs> but it, it was, was really so, close, so... Yeah, it was, it was so close, and, you know, it wasn't exactly a lot to do with the weather being so cold, and um, I really hadn't prepared for the weather, so... Yeah. It was sort of like, went outside, um, basically wrapped a towel around myself because I was so cold and went, this is great, look at the water and look how beautiful it is and then... The North Sea. Anyways, let's get back on the train because it's freezing. Yeah. But it was, it was very beautiful and it was cool just to, to be able to see it. It was just very, very, very windy too, so... That's true. It wouldn't have been very enjoyable, cold and windy, so it was like, you know, um a very brisk like walk and then that was it. <laughs> yeah. so, but it was cool just to say we were there. Um, anyway after that got back on the trains and then came back. That's true we did we came back and um, we came back and like I had to take a nap because I was so tired. I mean, we, we jumped on the trains and then had lunch and then came back. And I took a two hour nap because I was exhausted. Um, just from like going non stop this whole trip. So, um, what did we do? Oh, we, we got up and then just sort of like just did our little promenade. Walk the town. Walk the town. It's a 
beautiful town. There's yeah. A, it's just, you've seen some of the places. So. Just, all you want to do is just walk around and enjoy the scenery. So yeah. it was uh, window shop. Window shop. It was great because um, earlier on today, it, it just the hub of the city is just like wall to wall people all the time. So it was nice just to be able to walk around and enjoy the streets and not have to battle against people who are real estate on the sidewalk. Yes. <laughs> so it was just really nice. And then we went and had dinner um, at an Italian restaurant, but um, one that was done for the Leaning Tower of Pisa of all places. And so we told our waiter that we had been there a week ago and got up on, on the tower. and. Went to the highest part. Mm -hmm. Kathy points to the menu and says, We were at the top of this. And he was like, Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Did it, did it. So, it was cool. And he's like, Oh, was it like scary because I was leaning? Um, so I pretended I was like falling off the leaning tower pizza. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. We yeah. were able to uh, bust out the grazie and the. The ciao and the prego. Yeah. It was very cool. I think out of the uh, Dutch, French, and Italian, I've enjoyed speaking the Italian, or attempting to speak the Italian the most. Second would be French, and the third would be Dutch. Doesn't necessarily mean that I don't like Dutch, it's just difficult. There's a lot of hurt and hurt and say A lot of um, spit, no not spit, regurgitation going on. <laughs> well, you don't like puke in your mouth, but it's like just a... It would help, though. It really yeah. would. <laughs> Some of the... Uh, you just sound like you're hacking the loogie a little bit. You just... <laughs> like, like hairball. Yeah. Uh, play record backwards. A little bit also. Yeah. So, had a wonderful meal. Came back here. And now we're trying to decide whether or not... Uh, not tonight, but... Um, if we're going to drink the bottle of wine that we got in Aosta, or if we're going to ship it home, or if we're going to check it, but mm -hmm. whatever. whatever. Tomorrow, museums and uh, another flea market, and we're going to see a bunch of fleas. Yee-hoo! Right off. Right off. Drink that wine. Drink the wine. Here we are at a very nice tulip market. That sells a lot of stuff other than tulips as well. Yes. Bless you. Oh, look at this cute little story. Do you mind if we go in? Nope. Till 99 days until Christmas, baby. We better get in there quick. So here's a separate section for the United States and Canada because their health certificates are included. I'm talking about that thing right there. I'm just talking about tulips. Tulips. Just talking tulips. Tulips. Not four lips. Or three lips. But two lips. What else are you thinking about possibly getting? That. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> These are pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, um, tell me which one do you like because we're planting them. So. You like that? Yes. I would say let's go for something that we normally wouldn't be able to get. So okay. something funky ass. That's kind of funky. Okay. We got a disco. <laughs> Very beautiful Kalele lilies. Now we're on our way to Museum Flat.
<laughs> Get a brownie. Uh, the mail. You just saw the uh, Van Gogh Museum. What'd you think? I thought it was awesome. I'd like to apologize for the viewers. All those paintings that you saw in very short successions were not supposed to be taken anyways. <laughs> um, no photographs and no video world was allowed in uh, the Van Gogh Museum, so basically everything that you saw, I was not supposed to get. So. Now it is uh, about 3.30, we had lunch inside, and now we're outside and we're gonna have a little mini dessert, we're gonna munch on a brownie, and that's about it, we're gonna move on afterwards. I am now recording you. myself at home. <laughs> we need one of those gnomes for our garden when it got a house. It's a very romantic place. Yeah. Cool. I love the red and the light. Yep. Thanks. 
Hello, I'm bonded. He didn't bother with me, I thought it was insane. And then Tyrone just bargain when he's just. Oh my god. We passed an erotic museum, so in a sense it would be a, an education. So I don't know if that would be a, worth our while or not. <laughs> I don't want to. Kathy's got a pee. She wants me to hurry up. Hurry up. <clears throat> okay, so this is the World War II memorial for the Netherlands. And before we actually knew it was a World War II memorial, we thought it was just kind of a phallic symbol because right over there is the beginning of the red light district. But especially further back and a couple blocks over as well. But no, it's the World War II monument. And on the other side, I will quickly show all y'all something that Kathy says that we've already filmed. But I'm a doofus. There's no getting around it. And that's it. You want to hear some Danish? Of course, okay. The commercial with the most music isn't even playing any dance right now. We'll be right back. That's some Danish for you. Dutch. Okay. So, tomorrow is our last full day here. <coughs> but, what did we do today? It's uh, 10 o'clock tonight. We got up, we um, got up at Peter's and uh, had a really nice breakfast again. Um, we were really spoiled to that place, even though this place is great. Uh, we came back and dropped off our luggage and then left and went to the Van Gogh Museum, as you saw. I've been pretty good at sneaking some uh, stuff. Uh, I'm, I was a little surprised that they don't allow photographs. I can understand about the flash, but they don't allow photographs, period, in a lot of the um, hardcore museums. So, got some goods. What else did we do? We went to an Indonesian restaurant for dinner, which was really, really, really good. Absolutely. Um, we've learned that we love Indonesian food, which is great. Um, and then after that, we revis revisited <laughs> the red light district, which is always good for a laugh and pretty interesting. And you saw that covert material as well. So, uh -huh. go ahead. <laughs> so anyway, um, and then I uh, just hopped a tram back home because we were really tired. Wiped out. Yeah, a lot of tram riding today. That's what took up most of our day. Still but have this quandary with the wine. We need to drink it tomorrow. Somehow we need to like have a good night, half a bottle of wine each kind of thing. So we shall see, but we'll keep you posted. We will. And uh, tomorrow, hopefully, is the Rembrandt Museum, and who knows. So. Possibly. Gonorrhea. Thank you. 
Well, this is our last journal entry for our European trip. Three weeks and four days. Mm -hmm. Back in Amsterdam. Oh, by the way, I hope you guys enjoyed the covert operation. Operation code name Rembrandt. <laughs> All that stuff you're not supposed to get. <laughs> so. Boy, am I cool. So what did we do today, Jake? What we did was as follows. Woke up, had a nice breakfast, went back to sleep. Woke up at around noon, showered, and then went downtown and went to the Rembrandt Museum. Uh, which, by the way, was his house. So, I thought it was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, they had... Some stuff recreated, but some stuff was actually his, um, and it was very accurate because he apparently had gone into debt later on. He was he was a wealthy man because he married a very wealthy woman, and uh, he was famous for his art. But just because of being a, a financial dumbass, he went into debt later on in his life, and uh, because of the um, debt collectors collecting all this stuff. They had a record of it. And also because of Rembrandt's uh, etchings and paintings that's themselves, so you could get a good idea of what he had around. So it's very cool. People were generally short back then. The bed um, that he slept in was just, the length of it was probably the width of this bed. Wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Yeah. It was basically like they slept in an armoire. Yeah. So, um, did the Rembrandt house. And then after that, we just went out. Or no, well, we got some food beforehand. Had a yeah. fat Italian meal. Uh -huh. That was our last meal. I had a really good sized pizza with different toppings on it. And Kathy, you had a quattro. Um, no, I had ravioli with, um, like an Alfredo cream sauce with, um, prosciutto. Yeah. So, then we just came back here, mm -hmm. uh, to get all of our stuff together, just, because we have to get up at 5 tomorrow morning, we're having a taxi pick us up at between 5.15 and 5.30 tomorrow morning, so, um, we're going to be tired. Mm-hmm. Uh, had a great trip. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, what we were talking about it today, and um, I couldn't pick a high point because they were all high, in my opinion. Just really great experiences. I mean, right off the bat, you have the rain in Amsterdam when we first got here, and then seeing the Eiffel Tower for the first time, the gypsies, the Louvre, the Arc de Triomphe, um, just walking around, uh, taking the boat trip. And then going down to Chamonix and going over the um, the French Alps and just the height and how cold it was and how tired we were from traveling and just doing so much in one day and making it down to Aosta and we ended up shipping that bottle of wine home. We didn't want to buy a bottle of wine, not only buy a bottle of wine, but we didn't want to buy a bottle of wine and then haul it all over Europe mm -hmm. to then just chug it. So. Um, screw it, we shipped it home. Hopefully I'll get home safe. And, uh, you know, Rome was, Pisa was great. Uh, well, for, then it was Nice, and then Pisa. Mm -hmm. Um, it was amazing. Yeah, wonderful. That means the tape's running out, we only have like five minutes left. Oh, okay. So, it's fine. It's 
<laughs> yeah. So what do you what do you remember about this? Just um uh, I don't know, just the uh the train system was very, very cool and uh, very tiring all at the same time. I won't miss lugging my stuff around, but I'll miss trying to read the train schedules. It was kind of a adventure the whole thing. Excuse me. So it was just one adventure after the other. It was great. Yeah, we're homesick, but we really are going to miss um, what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was just the tip. We're going to come back and do it again. This time, I think the only thing that will be different is maybe focus more on one area, mm -hmm. one country, and uh, just take our time within that country. Just enjoy it while we're there. And maybe mm -hmm. rent a car or something. But have hotel reservations ahead of time. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're like live in the moment people, but it's, uh, it's nice to think ahead sometimes. <laughs> when you get up at 7 in the morning and then spend the whole day traveling, hardcore packing, um, barely eating, you don't want to deal with having to look for a place to stay in the evening. You want to know that you have this light at the end of the tunnel and know that you have a place to crash. That's my opinion. Yeah. I'm okay. sticking with it. Very good. Well, we're going to sign off and go to sleep and get up extremely early tomorrow. Okay. It was a blast. Mm-hmm. And uh, signing off from Amsterdam, September 20th? 19th? Something like that, 2006. Exactly.